Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Buley. I am in a Marriott Hotel in uh, beautiful downtown Pasadena. Um, and I'm going to uh, first measure this room. I have a, uh, a little um, laser tape measure here. So turn that thing on, measure a few things. So measure, for instance, the height from this table to the ceiling. I think I just push a button. Goes as being uh, five foot seven inch and three eighths of an inch um, from here uh, to the ceiling up above, um, and uh, measure from the floor to the ceiling. Spots here. Let's see. Or to the ceiling. Tough time. Picking up the signal. There we go. Uh, eight feet zero and five eighths of an inch. I'll measure, say, wall to wall. So here we go. From this wall to that wall. As you push this button, laser dot appears on the far wall. And you get it about straight over. And it comes up with. What did it come up with? 13 feet, zero and one eighth inch there. And we'll put uh, from this wall to the, uh, to the wall over next to the windows. So and that laser dot, there we go, so over here and come up with a laser dot right there. It, there we go. So we got 16 feet, five and one sixteenth. Um, from there, maybe a couple more measurements just from one wall to the other in this entrance way. This spot. There. And that distance is three foot ten and an eighth, maybe from the sink to the ceiling. It's measuring uh, four foot zero, standard doorway going into the bathroom here, measure it from that part of the jam to that part of the jam like that. Measuring three feet, zero inches exactly. Um, measure the height of the bathroom. Uh, six foot nine and one sixteenth. Um, and well, that's probably enough. I'll do one more here. Which would be uh, with the bathroom there. It's uh, four foot ten and an eight. Okay, so that's a uh, number of measurements. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to run Scan to Plan, which is the new app by Opal AI. Get the scan of the room and see how it comes out on those measurements. See you over on the other side. So now I'm opening up the app Scan to Plan from Opal AI. I'll type in the name of this little scan that I'm taking here. Um, and now I'm looking at the same desk that was the starting point before. And I'm running the time of flight sensor on a uh, modern uh, iPad. 12.9 inch with the time of flight sensor on the back. And I'm just going to scan it through the room and it's running with an adaptive mesh. And so where it sees that the surface is flat, it's making nice large squares, saving the geometry efficiently. Um, and I'm just going to slowly scan around the room and uh, complete the scan starting in the uh, 
the main part of the hotel room right here. There's the bed. Um, and I'm scanning around, actually doing a lot more scanning than is really required to get the dimensions on the room. Um, but it kind of shows you the accuracy with which this, uh, this app is able to um, capture the layout of the furniture and the uh, geometry of the room. Um, I'm over here next to the window now, and so um, it's getting the frame around the window. There are curtains, and I'm not trying to scan um, outside, of course. The, uh, the scan distance on the iPad uh, Pro and, and the iPhone is about 15 feet, so it doesn't pick up the, uh, the, the trees outside. Um, the TV is on the startup screen there and uh, scans the TV area just fine, even though the, uh, the TV has an image that's changing on it as we go. Here I'm even scanning underneath the, the desk, getting a pretty complete scan of the whole room now. I'm going to the left behind the bed and uh, getting the floor out there. There's a little mirror in the corner there that uh, kind of spoofs it a little bit. It's not going to turn out to be a big factor. The overall scan, we're just going to try to get some dimensions. But along the way, we're building a pretty, uh, pretty respectable 3D scan of the entire room. Um, so uh, getting a lot of detail on the couch there. So I've got that. Um, and I pretty much did completely the, uh, the ceiling at the beginning of this. Now I've finished up the floor. Um, and uh, so I'm going to uh, walk back to the hallway next. There's the desk, which was the starting point. Um, this is just the side of the, the table here. Um, and uh, so you can see that it starts with a, um, a rough scan from a distance. But then as I approach new areas, it refines those areas based on the closer scans that you get as you walk around the room. Here I'm scanning the little features of the wall and the entranceway, getting those. There's the front door. Um, now I'm going to move um, into the bathroom area. Um, I left the closet door open um, and uh, so I'm scanning. Uh, sorry, the closet door is closed, bathroom door is open. Um, so I'm scanning that door now. Um, and uh, there's uh, a mirror, of course, in the bathroom. I'm not actually going to spend too much effort on that mirror because that would spoof things, but I'm going to get the frame around the mirror. The wall's nearby. Um, come down and get the towels in the sink area. And uh, so just scanning to get a complete scan there. And then finally we'll go into uh, the bathroom area, scan the shower stall, and uh, finish up by scanning the rest of the, the bathroom area. So um, the initial measurements that I took in the rest of the room took less than four and a half minutes for me to take nine measurements. Um, here um, I'm just finishing up the scan of the bathroom now. Um, this again took um, under four and a half minutes, um, but now instead of just nine measurements, um, I have a complete scan of this hotel room, which takes about the same amount of time as it takes to scan uh, to, uh, to measure nine things by hand. Um, I'm not particularly fast at doing either of these, but uh, this is uh, just walking around. Um, so now I have that, and then that's pretty much all you need to do on site. And if you're using a laser uh, uh, rangefinder or something, uh, you would have had nine measurements. Now I have this whole scan. So you see the first thing that I measured here is a normal distance between a point on the top of the table and the ceiling. I got something that was six and a half feet. Um, but then if I select vertical mode, so I select my initial point to be on the table, and then some other random point on the ceiling, it measures the vertical distance from the top of the table to the plane of the ceiling and gets accurately the five foot eight inch measurement, which was almost precisely what I measured with the laser um, range binder um, and the, uh, when I was walking around the room initially. So that's really good. That uh, vertical feature helps you to pick a spot in the plane just above when you're measuring uh, vertical distances, which is quite helpful. Now I'm measuring the distance from the floor to the ceiling. Uh, I get eight foot two inches, which is really close to the uh, measurement, slightly less than eight foot one inch is what I got by the, uh, the laser. I'm going to do this in a few different points in the CAD, and I consistently get eight foot two inches um, from the floor to the ceiling vertical measurement. So that's, uh, that's good to see. Um, this is still an early version of the app. We're going to, of course, refine, um, make it a little bit easier to see where it <laughs> writes the numbers and things like that. But you see, being able to turn on this vertical mode means I don't have to pick with my fat fingers very accurately 
the point above the floor, um, I just pick a point on the ceiling and it scoots it over to a point which is vertically above. Now I'm going to shift modes and uh, get horizontal distances, which um, at this stage of the app was a little bit harder. I'm going to try to pick a point, um, like with a laser, laser rangefinder, opposite on the wall. Um, I'm using what's called parallel mode, which makes it parallel to the ceiling and the ground, um, but it's not making it parallel to the walls. And so if I don't do this carefully, it will get a, uh, a somewhat diagonal measurement from one point to the other. So I'm trying to select a point. Um, it will straighten it out and make it horizontal, as you see, um, but it might be a little bit diagonal across the room. So this is a uh, refinement that we're currently working on, um, is to uh, make these measurements that go across the room um, go uh, orthogonal to the wall that you're measuring from, um, and so we can get uh, accurate measurements. But anyway, what I measured there was the distances from wall to wall and the two two directions across the main room, and I got something that was a little bit off, um, and uh, so I don't know if my original measurements in the room were a little bit uh, diagonal. Um, checked out of the room, so I don't have those measurements. I got 12 foot 4 and, and 16 feet, which was a little bit uh, uh, less than the uh, measurements in the room. And then I just measured here, you saw me measure the entry ray width. Um, I got 3 foot 10 inches, which is almost exactly what I measured uh, in the room. Now I'm going from the sink to the ceiling. I got 4 foot 1 inch, um, which is again almost identical to what I measured when I was in the room. And now I'm going to shift to the uh, jam to jam in the uh, in the bathroom door. Uh, there's one side of the jam, there's the other side of the jam. Um, and so these are exactly the same measurements in the same order that uh, I, I did by hand. Um, and I got two foot 11 there, which is really close to the three foot that I got um, measuring it by hand. Um, and finally I'm going to do floor to ceiling um, in the bathroom, which is uh, lower ceiling as you can see in the, the CAD model here. Um, and uh, so some spot on the floor, like there, to some spot on the ceiling, which is on the flat part of the ceiling, and then it will scoot it over to directly above. Even if there's a smoke alarm up there, it's fine. It just moves over to the uh, point directly above the point I selected on the floor. Got six foot ten, which is almost identical to what I measured by hand. Um, and finally, I'm going to do the width of the bathroom, picking some point on that big flat wall over there, um, and um, another point on the uh, wall opposite of it, um, and then um, pick some point that is uh, about parallel to that wall, and it will straighten out uh, and make it the same height above um, the, uh, the, the floor. Uh, and I'm getting 4 foot 11 there, which is almost the same as what I got when measuring by hand. So there you have it. Um, it took uh, under five minutes to do the scan of the room, and it took, again, under five minutes to measure on that scan. Um, and what we got um, was about the same measurements, um, but now we also have a complete CAD. And so if there are any additional measurements that we need, um, we don't have to drive all the way back to the hotel and take those measurements again, uh, but we have a CAD and so we can take as many more measurements as we might need, which is quite useful. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.